Hello, my name is Cheryl Schaefer. I'm host and producer of Veterans Helping Veterans TV show. Today we're at U.S. Vets Initiative at March Air Reserve Base in Riverside. U.S. Vets is a wonderful organization. Today I'm going to introduce everyone to Frederick Robinson. So Frederick, tell me what branch of the service you were in. United States Army. Okay, and you were infantryman. Infantry. Okay, when were you in? 1977 to 1981. Tell me what happened to you after you got out of the military. Oh, man. A lot of things. Uh, drugs, alcohol, the whole, the whole enchilada. Was it because you just were having a hard time transitioning from the military into the civilian world? Was that part of it? Yes, that's, that's part of it. You know, because you got more liberty to do things you wouldn't do in the service. You know, you wouldn't try this, you wouldn't do that. And so when you're out there, you say, wow, I've been missing this for these many years. Let me catch up. Going in and out of prison. And uh, this last time, um, I had made a promise because my father had passed one time I was in prison. So when I got out this time, I, uh, I didn't want to go the same route. I knew I didn't have a place to go to. I knew if I went to the same spots with the same people, then I would just be caught up in everything. And so while I was in prison, they had uh, veterans come in and talk to veterans, and they brought up U.S. vets. And uh, I gave us a booklet and uh, thought about it, and it sounded a good thing to do. So so when you got out of prison, mm -hmm. is this the first place that first you came? Okay, very good. How long ago was that? That was a year and three days, well, 16 months ago. Wow. And yeah. how much has your life changed because you came here? Oh, it, it changed tremendously because for one thing, I never knew that I had mood issues until my caseworker here, Paula Corbelan, made me an appointment to go to VA to see a, a therapist. And so PTSD? No, it was more it was just moods, moods, oh. anger, anxiety, all that. So when I went there and I was able to talk to somebody and now that I'm taking medication and I never knew I needed medication all these years. And that's another reason I realized I was going in and out of prison. And so I got that now, I got all the support. And, uh, and if it wasn't for coming here, because when you get here, they make sure that you go and register with the VA at Loma and, Linda. And that's really an important thing that we need to remind veterans to do. Wherever you live, whatever your situation is, the way the VA works is you can't get the services until you register for them. So even if you register now and don't use them for a few years, they're in place. Right, because I never knew it. Coming here was a blessing because I met a lot of guys that you can tell when people want to help you. That's really the main reason I wanted we wanted to do the story here right. is because these people offer genuine Help. Right. So, if you have a piece of advice that you could give to a veteran who may be in the same struggles that you were a while back, what's the best piece of advice that you could give them? I, all I can tell them is to uh, check around for veteran services. Go to the veteran's hospital, register, find your program. If you're on the streets, they have places like this. Search and find one and get off them streets because you don't, shouldn't be a homeless veteran at all. There's a lot of resources that I never knew about that I know about now. And, and you look at most homeless people, they're veterans. You know, I stop homeless people by where I live and ask them if they're a veteran. And I tell them, they say, yeah, I tell them the same thing. They have U.S. vets out here. You got Loma Linda down the street. Go there. You deserve it. You earned it. So take, 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 take the charge of it. You, Just like you did. Yes. Everything here to help you to get out of being homeless. And that's that's the key. Thank you so much. You're Thank welcome. you. Thank you.